Shop 2.0. Bobby Rossi here alongside Derek Simonetti. We are about to witness a standout singles competition between the returning Nick Marshawn and one half of the Hollywood vault, Christopher Doza. Derek, your take on this matchup overall? Well, I mean, we haven't seen Nick Marshawn since he unceremon unceremoniously quit when I announced Mike Montero was the new, uh, the new commissioner around here, but wait a minute. The audience now laughing at the returning Nick Marshawn. The question we have to ask ourselves is, is Nick gonna have uh, any ring rust tonight? I would imagine so, but conditioning can count for a lot. And I say he looks to be in much leaner condition than he was the last time we saw him in the ring. Oh, no doubt. Last time we saw him in the ring, and I don't think I'm saying anything too offensive, he had a little bit of a gut developing. Yeah, he certainly did. He looks great right now. Dozer, who's been, uh, I mean, he's been pretty active with the tag team division here in RWA with his partner, Cipriano Abruzzi, but, oh, wow. Now that is classic Christopher Dozer right there. He's not flashy whatsoever, and he knows how to throw his weight around. Gotten the size advantage. Beautiful spine buster. And the thing about Chris Dozer, is the fact the fact is is like he's a big guy, right? But he's, sure. not, he's not a tall guy. He's a very calm. He's like a, he's like a wrecking ball. <laughs> very good analogy, my friend. The chase continues to the outside now. Christopher Dozer with a clubbing blow to the back, and I've heard those strikes are nightmarish. They've taken on a lot of people in their past. Well, he's got a loaded right hand. He's just loaded with his fist. I watched him blast Ricky Medeiros out of midair with one of them right hands. That was a hell of a move, you can imagine. But yet the tag team titles in RWA eluded him this year. But the Balds have documented a, a gripe with, but nonetheless, Christopher Dozer here representing Christopher Dozer. He's looking strong, and you alluded to some potential ring rust on Martian. I, I think we're seeing it. He's, I mean, he hasn't had a whole lot of offense. Whoa, wait, I sit corrected. Goes to the drop down. Marshawn, beautifully executed drop kick. He's staring daggers into the crowd. I think you might have heard what I was saying earlier. And I think <laughs> I think Dozer was trying to be as cautious as he possibly could be with the drop down, but thinking too much about it, he caught that drop kick right in the mouth. Absolutely. You know, Dozer needs to fight his own fight. That's just my take on the situation. Marshan now, he's got him draped over that middle rope. And this is classic Marshan. You know, he's methodical, he's calculated. He knows when to execute, but then he'll tear the pace into his favor. And you can say what you want about Marshan, whether you like him or you hate him. He's the man who retired Mike Montero in the RWA. And I told him, I told him once T and I started working together on this RWA stuff, I said, you know you can get back in there. And he wants to live up to his word. But at the same time, Marshan quit, <laughs> quit the business and he's back. So I don't know why we couldn't see Mike Montero back in an RWA ring again, but it is what it is. All those politics aside, Marshan's time off has paid out heavily as he continues to retain the advantage in this matchup. Actually fighting somewhat of Doza's fight. Both men known to be a bruiser. Definitely uh, uh, the more flashy one is Marshan. I'm not seeing a whole lot of pizzazz. I'm seeing a lot of focus. It's really a dogfight thus far. Yeah, you're not seeing any of the flashy stuff that you would usually see with someone the caliber of Marshan. I mean, and you know, Chris Dozer, although capable, isn't going to be doing the moonsaults and the, yeah. and the <laughs> flippy dippies and all that stuff. This is, this is definitely a dogfight. Whoa, swing and a miss by Dozer, and Marshan catches him slipping. With some fancy footwork right there, highly effective. Misses with the knee. Oh! Dozer lands with that right hand. Sidewalk slam, exclamation point. Does he go for the pin? 
He doesn't, but what a high angle. Pops him up, clothesline, rolls him oh, over his neck. Oh! Head meet canvas. Dozer on the prowl. Can he get to that pin attempt in time, Simon Eddie? I thought you said head meat sandwich cover two. <laughs> Kick out at two. Now the deli is closed, but the gym is open. I gotta wonder if there's an open wound on that head of Marshan. I've used the DDT as a closing maneuver for most of my wrestling career, and I tell you, when it is hit right, the night is over. And that was a hell of a showing, but Marshan is still moving. Ooh, moved out of the way, Marshan. Get the drop on him! A springboard knee cover here. Marshan's got himself a new mode of offense from what I could see. He's always been rather strike oriented, but this right here, uh, shades of gray that we've not seen before. He's got Dozer in a nasty predicament right now. But he's spending too much time mouthing off with the referee. Oh. <laughs> Pick and choose your battles, my friend. Dozer now, he's got himself a moment to catch his bearings, and he could be doing so. Breathing heavy in that opposing buckle. Marshan drops that knee pad. I think we've seen this before, Simon Eddie. You know what he's got in mind. But look at that. He gave it too much time. He took too much time. Dozer on the upper hand. Up, oh, Dozer oh! driver. If he covers him, it's over. Dave Christian with Dozer expelled too much energy. He's got the leg oh, hurt. hurt too. And Harry Brooks makes his way. I, you gotta be kidding me. It was a ruse the entire time. That dirty son of a goat. Hey, I resemble that remark. Oh! He just put him back in the chair with the wheels, but it's a Geary kick by Marshan. That sends Dozer right back to the canvas. Things are not looking good right now for one half of the Hollywood Balls. Marshan now has turned his back to his opponent as well, exchanging displeasant trees with Harry Brooks. They're trying to goad him to get back into the ring. This is not gonna bode well for him whatsoever. Dozer's made it to one knee. He's shaking off the stars. Mouthing off to his girlfriend too. This is the guy that Harry Brooks selected to take his place. Chris Dozer, ready, willing, and able. Lock, stock, and barrel. Cover here by Dozer. This is academic, right in the middle. One, two, that's it. You want to talk about a guy I don't see in singles competition all that often, but right there, at least in the RWA of course, but right there was a perfect example that if given the opportunity, we could definitely see Dozer in a position to easily contest for the Hype Championship. A title that may have evaded him for too long as stated in some circles. Nonetheless, the Tag Team Championship hopefuls, Hollywood Bolts, have been on their own crusade, and Chris Dozer putting in that work here tonight in an exemplary singles contest. Simon Eddie, I say it all boils down to focus, and that is what won Dozer this matchup. We've got more RWA action on tap for you folks. Don't you dare change that dot com.